halfway through the week, halfway through whatever it is you need to do. You're almost there. You got it. We're coming to your town. Some place in England that I don't know yet. What's up? Has anybody actually ever seen, when they play this game, actually seen where they live? Like, I've watched a couple other people play some GeoGuessr. Not everybody. I've only found one instance. Great job, camera. You just got ghost car. I've only seen one instance where they've been to my state. We've not been to my state yet in all the videos I've done so far. And I feel a little weird if I should be like, I know exactly where this is because I've been here before. Like, even if I went to the couple of places I've actually traveled to outside the U.S., I don't know if I'd be able to nail them down on the map. Like, I feel like I've got, like, one or two places, at least in... Um... At least in Macedonia that I'd be like, oh, I know exactly where we are. Taiwan, maybe not so much. Like, I'd know the dock in Kaohsiung if I went there just because it literally says Kaohsiung on the little park area. This is South Ickford. But now that I sit here and try to think of other places I went to in Taiwan. Like, I went to... There was one episode where we ended up in Taiwan, but I only got that because it was 100% guess. There was one time when... We haven't had it yet, but I'm surprised we haven't. But it's... We'll, we'll be doing... Who is going to buy that? It's just a square. That is... Like a one-bedroom house. Potentially it was a school... I don't know. Oh, it's just a side house for this thing. I thought it was quaint. One of the places I ended up, uh, where I grew up, it wasn't a big town or anything, but one of the neighboring towns was sm so small back when I was a kid. It actually was a one-room uh, school, but eventually, as I made it to, like, middle school it, it branched out and got bigger but these are some real cool brick complexes they've been building here this is just somewhere in england i have no fucking clue where i've only seen a south ickford i don't know going down this road is not going to tell me a goddamn thing so we're going well this road isn't any better but this is just english countryside Go get some English breakfast, which is just like someone woke up one morning and had like 16 leftovers and some asshole burnt half a tomato on the grill and they said, oh, I guess I'll eat this. And everyone just accepted it. I'm not saying that the stereotype of British cuisine is just, you know, bread pudding and blood sausage, but although I think blood sausage might not be British. I had a once in a, what's going to be a weird combination of words, Argentine, Argentinian restaurant in Puerto Rico. Pretty good. I think I also had sweet bread, which I don't know if someone was being cheeky when they made the word for sweet bread, but I think it's, it's one of the organs. Oh, I guess I ended up being close, whatever. All right, if you lived in Toynton Allstate, Toynton Fenside, congratulations, we visited you. This, I don't know what this is. I don't think we're gonna catch this truck either. This truck passed us, I'm going to say. So I'm gonna go this way. I need to get, I need a car close so I can see what this is, because I it's just out of reach what this is. If I can get close enough to... Hmm, this is going from England to Russia very quickly. Nope, this is Poland. .pl 
Give me, oh, this is, this is exactly what I need. This is what I like about you, Poland. I like guys in swim trunks with his button-up shirt holding hands of his lady who's wearing a Jack Daniels Tennessee rye whiskey shirt. I like you, Poland. I will visit you one day. Okay, 538. Can I find Lazen? Or Wazen? I need to find... How close do I... Ooh, I have to go in a bit of ways to find 538, huh? Well, that's the fours. Well, let's click in Poland so I have it correct. 324. So be prepared for the next couple of minutes of me just saying random numbers like we're playing bingo as I try to find this place. I gotta wonder where they actually... Each language comes up with their little, little symbols and whatnot. Where this came from. Like, you see down here in, I believe this is Slovakia, which is, I don't know if Slovak's much different from what they say in Czech, but they see they got little lines over stuff. Like, when did they decide that, okay, this symbol means this? I mean, we're getting into that stoner talk of just like, what are words, man? But it, it's got to come from somewhere, and this is a really hyper-explanatory highway, road sign, whatever you want to call it. Okay, 900 is down here, so it's not there. 900's here. I mean, I'm sure there's an etymology. I think it's etym well, etymology is the origin of a word. I don't know if there's... A, a, a word for what, at, like, or origination of a symbol for a word is. It's all these stoner talks. Like, I got this problem of every time I get together with friends and whatnot, we end up talking kind of about the same stuff. I mean, why not? We're getting together. We're having a good time. We want to have fun. So we ended up telling old stories that we've told hundreds of times before, but fuck if they're not funny still. And then every time I think about talking about stuff, the only problem is everything I want to talk about is basically stoner talk, but I'm not stoned. Like, here's a dumb thing. Um, did I click on the country? I did in the south. I'm going to click here. I'm in the middle of the country. I don't know if I'm going to get any better than this. I talked about, and I think it was in the last episode, about how a lot of the brain... Yep. A lot of the brain... Like, all the important things that our body has to do is taken care of by... Basically, the brain stem, I believe. Which is, like, the super primitive part of your brain. And then... Oh, it wasn't that far off. Four stars. Russia? We'll find out right now. Find out right now. Nope. I don't know what this is. Hmm. I gotta go back to this. I need to see what that sign... Oh, no, they're just... Okay. This could be America. But anyway. Like, all the important parts of your... This is America. All the important parts of your, uh... Brain are taking care of your, by your brainstem. The most basic stuff. Like, if that thing doesn't work, then I think you're clinically brain dead. Or is that just when... Yeah, I think that's what brain dead means. Kansas Department of Transportation. Alright, so we have the state. Hello, Kansas. I'll just click in the center... And we'll go from there. But I always had this idea of, say, like, what if sometime way back, I don't know when, millions of years ago, we'll just say, there was some sort of parasite that attacked humans, and um, which is actually, you know, all the thinky part takes care of, well, you've got the brainstem, then you have everything else. If the everything else part was a parasite, and it just attached itself to, this may give us a town name, attached itself to the brain, and then it was like a 
symbiotic relationship between whatever this parasite is and our act well actually humans are okay this was a root sign this should okay, we've got local root 47 and then root 59 can we see it this far there's root 59 which seems to go north south look for that blue river so I'm gonna click here just so we have it. Like I didn't like that's pretty much the entire thought I have of like what if we're actually just a brainstem or whatever it is. Well then like what's a human man? This doesn't tell me. Well, I'll look for forty seven as we go down this, but It's 59 and 60. Okay. Come on. 59 goes this way. And we gotta look for a 47. I got a minute left, so I think... I think I'm, I'm confident in this. Come on. 56. Wait. 59 is that way. Well, I'm going to go down through here till we get to the... Yeah, this is just straight up the highway. We're not to it yet, so maybe I should look for 47. Well, we'll come back up here and look for 47. But anyway, if I try to actually bring up some of these ideas... Like, I also have a lot of my favorite songs that I like singing. I can't ever say at a wedding. I don't know if I've talked about this one before, but <clears throat> one of my favorite songs is uh, Possum Kingdom by the Toadies. I can't sing that at a, a wedding. It's it it's not very wedding-like. Because I'll, I'll be... No. Oh, that was end of our time. I missed this. I went by it like probably five or six times. I'm going to keep saying everything's Russian until I'm eventually right, because I don't know what this is. But these are all, like, I can't really mention these things at parties. No one gives a shit. It's, it's conversation killer, so we're just... I need to see what... Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Uh, just sorry. Is this Scandinavia? Am I just gonna say everything's Russia? Just hopefully, so I could be wrong. Yeah, this is Sweden. I believe that's the Swedish post office sign. So we're gonna go with that. And. But is it always a bad thing just because when you're getting together, you just, the reason you're getting together is you want to catch up with your friends and have a good time. You don't want to sit there and do fucking Mensa work and have stoner talk where people are like, I don't want to talk about this. This is dumb. Let's just hang out and have a good time. We're near a lake. I don't know if this is the ocean. I really got myself in some back roads here. I want to get off this. Get me back to the road. Get me back. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Get me to the road. Come on. Okay, we're on pavement. This is some marsh land. This looks like a beach. They just never put actually any of the sand down, and that's just a lifeguard. Are these watched? Like, I usually see these associated in national parks when there's Looking out for forest fires? I think that's a fireplace, or it's just half of a horseshoe set, and they didn't put the other one down. If you don't know what horseshoes are, that's a game where you have a post like what you just saw. Private territory. I'm going to say we're like here, because I, I, I don't know. But it's two posts, like you just saw back there, probably 
25 feet apart, maybe more. Or less. You got a team of, you can do either singles or doubles. Whenever my family played it, we did it in uh, doubles just cause. And uh, you just take turns throwing the horseshoes at the little post in the ground. And there's a couple of ways you can score. Um, if you throw the horseshoe and it actually goes, can I get on the road? Thank you. And it actually like lands and stays on the uh, post. It's called a ringer because it makes a cool like little ringing noise. It leans up against it. I believe that's just like, oh, you got a lean, whatever. Just it's it's basically darts, but it's whoever's closest within. If you grab like the middle part of the horseshoe and you get the two like little feet part, if you can drag it across, and if one arm of the horseshoe hits the post and then the other one hits like the horseshoe, you get the points. But if it's farther away than that, you don't get any points. And the problem with the game sometimes is if you're terrible, like I am at the game. It does that thing where you can throw it and then it just starts like lands on the side and just rolls forever. If you're doing it bad enough, it can roll and then just go full force right into somebody's ankle who's playing the game. You gotta do some quick footwork if you're playing the game. This was Estonia. Okay. So, a couple of things. Number one, that isn't just the post office sign for Sweden. Number two, Estonia seems to have a lot more in common with Scandinavia than it does Russia. Just looking at it from this point of view, I mean, I don't know if it's 100% true. I'm just putting these notes in my head so I can actually understand these things going forward okay so that's another Estonian one I'm like one for three on Estonian guesses so four stars for Estonia hmm I just always assumed again because that's what you do when you assume you make an ass out of you and me that a lot of the former Soviet socialist republics, or whatever you want to call them that were part of the former USSR, all kind of follow the same, um, what's the word, criteria, where they probably speak Cyrillic. They have Cyrillic writing on everything, and that's about as far as I got. Which clearly is not the case because everybody can I get on no, I wanna go I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna go there. I wanna go over. Okay, we're at the end here. Alright, fine, we'll go the other way. We'll go this way, away from town. Okay, I can't thank you. We'll just head this way, unless I see a road sign somewhere. I don't know if I will. And it's just one of those things that you never actually really, uh, I guess, check until you come across it. And, I mean, I don't really see too much in the way of Estonian. I don't see anything in the way of Estonian, like, information anywhere. Like, I see... I mean, I've run into Bulgarians, I've run into Macedonians, I've run into other Eastern European countries, but they were from Estonia, Latvia, or Lithuania. And if I did, that probably would help me. Um, I'm that you need to put a highway signs, route sign, so I can actually find out where the hell we are. Brazil's a big place, and this isn't helping. But I guess that's just, it took like 76, 77, 70 something episodes to finally um, find that information out. And who says you can't learn something new every day? But anyway, the horseshoes thing, 
you can destroy some ankles in that if you're not very careful at it. Fun game, though. Just another excuse, mainly whenever I played it to drink. Watch people do their weird, like, little foot dances like they're almost getting shot, and they gotta dance, and they shoot at their feet. And another game we used to play that apparently is banned, well, it's been banned for a long time. But we played, like, the hardcore, the, the actual version that did get banned. I mean, they, they try to make their versions of it that were safe, but it never really caught on. And, I mean, it's 100% obvious, like, yeah, no, I get why they stopped, they banned the game. It's uh, Lawn Darts. And if you don't know, all right, so the basic point of this game is you put a little ring in the ground. I forget how big it is, because I think the last time I played it was probably 25 years ago. You put a little ring in the ground, that's your dartboard. It's basically darts, it's just on the ground. And you throw the darts by kind of lobbing them in the air in an arc. And try to land them inside the circle. Now, the thing that made this game dangerous was because the actual darts themselves, they were... If I try to compare them to size of something else... They're pretty decent sized. I mean, you can probably Google it and find out for yourself what these are. But the actual dart itself was a thing you lobbed in the air. It was weighted because on the, the, the actual tip of the dart was a literal dart that was pointed and obviously you can see how throwing this thing in the air you could stab somebody in the foot arm body anywhere and probably cause some serious harm but let me stretch because apparently we got to the end of the episode and even with the bad guess up here we still broke that 20,000 point and I'm kind of happy with it. I mean, Monday's guess was terrible thanks to Lee because of Japan out and I think I just pulled a muscle because I'm a old piece of shit. Uh, well, that's two down. And uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video. Um, if you could, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends, all that other fun stuff. Um, as I said, I'm doing all three episodes together on the weekend, so I still don't know what's happening for Thursday and Friday, but something will be up. It's either Uncharted or something special. We'll both find out. Well, you have found out yesterday. But anyway... Check out the other stuff. I'm doing God of War, streaming that to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and also putting the VODs up later that same week, too. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching again. And we'll see you next time. When it's Friday. Everybody's favorite day. <laughs>